Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Trailblazer League. I literally just decided to call it the Trailblazer Ranger. I don't know, it's kind of a dumb name, but like, I couldn't think of anything else, and it, it kind of rhymes too, so I feel like that's kind of cool. Anyways, as you can see by the chat box, we just unlocked the third relic, and this relic pretty much defines this account. We are now officially a ranger. Even though we only have level 1 range, you can trust me, I'm a YouTuber, just press accept mate. So attack speed of all range weapons is halved, rounded up. Uh, knives are usually two ticks, so you're gonna see, we're gonna test these out. You'll see these are gonna be one tick, we got increased accuracy, increased damage, and then we saved 90% of ammunition. And because we have Kandor unlocked, eventually we can get the range cape, and that will stack with the 90% that we save. I guess the main goal for now though, is rushing to unlock all the areas, and rushing to unlock all the relics. Um, and it looks like the next thing that we're going to unlock will probably be the next area. We're 46 tasks away. So rather than focusing necessarily on the high point tasks, we just want to get quantity of tasks done. So as many as we can do. And I think the first thing I want to do today is train fletching. Because as a ranger, fletching seems like it'd be a pretty important skill. Especially at this point in the account where our whole cash stack is 3.7k. We can't really afford to buy range gear. So we're going to make it ourselves. And there's tasks related to fletching. So we're going to knock those out. Smith 150 iron arrow tips and we just got 15 fletching so we can fletch them into arrows. I just noticed I had almost no feathers so we have to come here and buy a couple packs and now we can do the task. This is actually like insane XP for my level. <laughs> it's like every two sets is just another level. Jeez. Okay and then uh fletching 150 iron arrows another task. Look at me being efficient gaining XP while I'm running around. But what we have to do now is pick some flax, make some bowstring, and make some short bows out of that. Very nostalgic. It's so funny picking flax now, just knowing in the future I will have as much flax as I could ever ask for and more from Zora. Fletch an oak short bow and fletch willow short bow, which is gonna conclude the fletching training for today. There's a task to collect super compost from a compost bin, so I'm gonna invest in pineapples and reap the reward later. Raking a farming patch is 10 points and we get 32 XP from it right now, so I may as well just rake all these and see what farming level we can get up to. There is a task to get base level 5, so I guess we're set for farming for that task. And then I'm also just stocking up the tool leprechaun while I'm here. I just bought all the different hunter supplies so we can get some tasks done. And uh, there we go, snaring a bird and catching a crimson swift. Two more tasks. Uh, dude, I can't wait to get started on birdhouse runs. And there's 50 points for catching a butterfly. Now be gone and don't come back until you bring grandchildren. Lapping around the gnome cores for 10 more points. There's a task to get a task and also a task to check the task. And please don't take shots every time I say task. Take me to the mine. Leak task and diary task. I'm just getting some fresh unused content for the Gertrude's cat quest. Okay, Gertrude's cat quest is done. We went from, was that 26 to 34 cooking? And we get some death runes. And it was 10 points for the quest too. Oh, we got 750 total at the same time. And that was 50 points for that one. I'm on my way to go do the vampire slayer quest, but I remember the slayer task that we got was spiders. So because we're here, we may as well get the task done and also test out the power of the quick shot relic. Let's see it. Oh, dude, look at that. Oh, let me switch to rapid. Oh my God. <laughs> That is insane. This can be very fast range levels too. I'm so glad that I took the range route on this account. This relic is so fun. Okay, and that's the end of the Slayer task. Oh no, there's no task for finishing the task. It's for getting Slayer points. So we'll get the leak task done after the fifth task, I guess. It's been so long since I've done all this low level stuff on the main Trailblazer account. Well, I mean, this is the main Trailblazer account now, but um, we did get up to 21 range, which means we can now equip the full studded. Oh, oh, I need defense for the top, okay. I got the legs on though, at least. I just killed a goblin, just like on the way over here, because I wasn't sure if I'd done the task or not to kill a goblin in the Goblin League. And we got the Air Talisman, and there's a task to locate. Um, unfortunately, we can't actually go to the Air Altar, because it's in Asgarnia, but yeah. Oh my god, this is insane. I didn't bring food either. Wait, does it just die automatically? Do I have to use the garlic on it? Oh no, okay. Yay, we're done. Let me tell you, this quest has not been the same since they renamed it to Vampire with a Y. But we got a bunch of attack XP, up to 59 attack now. Let's catch a Karambwanji from this really awkward angle. Every time I come here, it's like really weird. Like if you step one tile away, you get moved up there. It's really weird. Ah, uh, dude, this really hurts the cash stack. We have to get an agility ticket, but we also have to pay 200 GP to go down there. It's an investment, it's an investment. Eventually, I won't even have to worry about money. And there we go, we got the ticket. I'm gonna try staying here for 10 tickets because there's a task 
to buy a Snapdragon. So hopefully I don't fail too often. We got 48 agility. Stop. Please don't do this. Please, I have so much to live for. Wait, can you die here? No, I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> I know it. Screw it. I'll just go for it. Oh, no. Oh. I'm not even going to get there in time anyways. Dude, I hate this game. Just kidding. I love it so much. You know what? We only need three tickets for the Toad Flax, which is what we need for that one quest. We'll come back later for the Snapdragon. But even with just these three tickets, we're set for now. Toad Flax acquired. Did I ever mention I love this relic? I love this relic. No, that guy attacked it. I have to hop worlds and try again. That's okay, there's no rush. That's something I really like about playing the account now. I didn't really try to rush on the first account, but I felt rushed in a way, if that makes sense, because everyone was trying to progress as fast as possible. But now I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm technically a month behind, but I'm not really behind at the same time. I'm just enjoying it, you know, just going at my own pace. Killing a Zara creature was 10 points, and we got all those levels out of it too, just from one. We have to get a wizard robe and a wizard hat, and there's the robe right there. We can only buy the hat in Asgard which we're not gonna have so we just gotta kill these guys. I remember at the start of the league trying to get this task done was a nightmare because this whole place was packed with people and I had to find so many worlds just so I could camp my own spawn and now I just kill all of them. Hey there's the hat, equip these two and task done. Yes. Oh we got 30 range too which means we can do that one chompy bird quest and there's a lot of tasks related to getting that done. Oh, because we have the range relic, I don't have to worry about like running out of arrows because I saved 90% of them. They're not going to break as often. Handing over the chompy bird and that is the quest complete. We got all that XP and it wasn't a league task. Let me drop all these items first. If we check the bow, you'll see that we automatically have already over a thousand kills. So we can just talk to Rance and then claim all the hats. Yes, more, more. I'm going to collect them all like Pokemon cards. Okay. Uh, so that one was a medium task, that one is a hard task, and there should be one more somewhere in here. Here we go, that was an easy task. There's so many points, dude, holy cow. Reaping the rewards, baby, that's 50 points. Okay, there's a task to cook 100 lobster, so I'm just gonna like, I made this little tab of raw food here, so I'm just gonna like get cooking up and then... I'll just cook a bunch of food and get the lobster task done. And there's cook 100 lobsters for 50 points. I'm really glad I did that because I had pretty much no food. Like I was just using shrimp and chicken before. So got a little bit of a stock of food. Um, I want to enter the ranging guild, but we need 40 range. So I'll take like 10 seconds to kill some random monsters and then get that level. And just like that, we have 40 range. We can now enter the ranging guild. Brothers, I am home. I am one of you. I feel like the avatar or something. I just have like these super cool special powers with range. They just don't know it yet, but once they see me, they'll be very impressed and they'll praise me and look at me with awe. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I believe this is also the only tanner that we have access to right now, or the leather worker, until we unlock the desert. Hey buddy, not here for the content today, just killing all your friends and family. Okay, I specifically want to get potato seeds because the payment for potatoes is just regular compost, which is kind of expensive for me right now, paying 20 GP each when this is my whole cash stack. There's a task to plant a seed, and then another task to have the farmer watch over it. And there's two more tasks. We'll have our new friend tan all this leather for us. There is one league task to craft a leather body, and then there's another task for the Lumbridge Diary to craft a, wait, which was it? A coif in the cow pen here. I mean, this is, I guess, a range upgrade for me too. God, my guy is such a beast. Okay, fishing contest is done. Um. I don't know, I just felt like doing it, we really didn't have to do it. Okay, we'll get a Slayer task from Vanica, 10 points for that, and then also I missed one before, buying and wearing a spiny helm. Six fi I literally can't even afford it, never mind. Let's just go kill a moss giant. I can't even go through the shortcut. We'll kill a different moss giant. Okay, there we go. Killing the moss giant is... 10 points. Man, I just buried those bones and got a prayer level. We really need to get prayer up. I think that's why I want to use the lamps that I get on, at least until we get to 43 prayer. The Holy Grail quest gives 11k prayer XP in the main game, which, you know, multiplied by 8 or 12 or whatever I'd end up having on this account. Uh, unfortunately, we can't do that quest because we need Kandarin and Asgarnia, and we're not getting Asgarnia, so I'll be missing out on all that prayer XP from that quest. With the Karamja Easy Diary, we can put that lamp into any skill, even below level 30. Um, I think we could do, yeah, we could do all this stuff, so we'll just go do that and get a bit of prayer XP. I just noticed I have this easy clue in my bank for who knows how long, um, but this reminded me that I have to go buy the Royal Seed Pod for 2 GP 
which teleports us straight here, which is relatively close to a bane. So this is going to come in quite handy for a while. Oh, I think this will be the casket. Yes. Ah, oh, dude, first easy clue. I guess first clue scroll in general. Um, so with this last relic that we got with quick shot, we now have the two times drop rate. We will get a task done just for opening an easy clue, but all I want is one unique so we can get another task done. Here we go. Nice, dude. We got a wooden shield G. So that's two tasks. Nice. Oh, yes. That's pretty cool too. I think we can wear it too because it has no negative range attack. Yeah. Flexing the fashion scape already. Oh wait, we got the fire lighters too. That's actually really good. I learned previously from playing the league how to make these colored logs and then we can light a fire with them and that is 10 more points. Another task done. Hey, give me a Guam. Wrong one. Yes, there we go. Okay. Clean a Guam is 10 leak. Wait, I'm dude, what am I doing? I'm supposed to be doing the, the Karamja diary. I got so distracted. Oh, that's so depressing. There's a DM, but obviously I'm not even close to being able to catch it. There is a leak task to catch a DM, but yeah, it's really unfortunate. Holy crap, dude, that poison hits 11. Jeez. Hey, look, it's about to hit me again. Luckily I got some uh, super anti-poison in the bank here, so I don't have to actually spend money. And that is the diary complete and the lead task for completing the diary. All right, let's claim the reward from the diary. And we got the XP lamp going into prayer. Uh, went from 10 to 26 prayer. I swear there was some combination. Was it, there was like a combination of prayers that, okay, that was it. Superhuman strength, improved reflexes. All right, we're about to do Demon Slayer. Every time I see Gypsy, I always think of Borat. Do not try shrink me, Gypsy. i serious. If you haven't seen Borat, you are missing out. And I also probably sounded really dumb to you. It's my favorite movie, okay? Yo, Rick from the Halloween event is here still, even though Halloween ended a while ago. Uh, I just talked to him. He said that he's a student here now. Welcome to the team. I mean, how dare Jagex change up my game? This is ruining my nostalgia. I can't take this anymore. That's it. I'm voting no to every PvP update. Oh, we got the water talisman from killing the wizard here. We actually needed that. Um, because with 5 RC, that's the only rune that we can make. Because the air altar and the mind altar are both in Asgarnia. And Demon Slayer is complete. I want to do it because for some reason, it's a 50 point league task to do that quest. Plus we'll need it in the future for the golem quest. Oh, by the way, I've decided that the goal for today is going to be unlocking the next area, which we're very close to. And then unlocking the next relic, which is 1.2k points away. I think we can do that today. Yeah, so this is the reason why everyone starts with level 5 runecraft, because this is the only altar that everyone can use no matter what. And that was a lead task and a dire task. Oh yeah, and there's also a task to craft 50 water runes. Monkey Madness 2 is auto-completed, so we get the monkey backpack automatically and we get 10 points for that. Okay, first we have to get 20 defense, so that way we can equip this body and get the task done. So I'm just gonna save spot some random NPCs here to get that. The pier has officially been ruined. There's two defense. Oh, oh, we got 50 combat. Oh, <laughs> yo, free task. Oh, you know what I should be doing actually? I should be killing kill giants because I wanna get 30 prayer. We're at 26 right now, so that way we can actually use all those easy diary lamps on prayer in the future. Yeah, let's go to Hill Giants for 30 prayer. Holy frick, there's actually people here. Look at all these cute noobs and they're all ranging too. I mean, I say cute noob, but like, they're, they're both higher level than me. And I'm also wearing this, so I mean like, who's the real winner here? All of us, because we're all having fun. Okay, there's level 20, back to rapid, and we can equip the studded body. Other task done. Yeah, it was really weird. Like it felt slow when I went to long range, even though it was still two ticks, but like compared to the one tick speeds, oh dude, I keep saying it, but like this relic is so fun. No way, the first long bone on the account. Wait, can we even turn those in? Cause uh, can we go to Dorgishkan? No, we can't. You need death to the Dorgishan, which requires Asgarnia, which we're not gonna get. All right, and this bone will put us at level 30 prayer. We can move on now. Now we can go and do the Lummy Diary. Yo, let me get some Molly, or uh, let me get let me get some gems, yeah. The cash stack right now is very mildly interesting because it's exactly 1k, it's all the money we have. Um, but that means we can now afford to buy this spiny helmet and equip that. And we have one last task left to do until we can unlock the next area. And that's just gonna end up being the Lummy Diary. Okay, make bread dough, don't burn it. And that is the last task for the Lumby Easy Diary. And it's also the last task that we need to unlock the next area. 
And I was thinking about it as I was doing this diary, I probably shouldn't actually claim the XP lamp now because once we unlock the next relic, we'll get 12 times XP instead of just eight times XP. So I'll just wait until the next relic for getting the XP lamp. Hey guard, can I, uh, can I go through this gate? Oh no, I need Mistalin and the desert area. Well, funny you should mention that actually. Okay, so I want to go with the desert next because I feel like Tyrant wins like end game stuff, like a lot of the content there, I'd want a lot higher stats for. Um, and the reason why I want to go with the desert is because it just seems fun, honestly. There's less points in the desert than a lot of other areas, but the most notable thing in the desert is Ancients, and we can also Fletch Dart Tips. Um, there's Mage Training Arena, Blackjacking, there's Granite for mining, and I just really like the desert in general. I live in the desert in real life, and it just feels like home to me, so confirm. Yeah, baby. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, wait. Okay, cool. We got the desert area unlocked. Oh, wait. Do I have to pay the 10 GP? Is that gonna... Oh, I still have to pay 10 GP. Frick. Um, that was a task. Go through the Alcur gate. Cool. This is where the content's really gonna start to change now because I have not been to the desert in the league yet, and there's a whole bunch of new tasks that I have not experienced yet, and you have not experienced vicariously through me. Wait, before we keep going, though, I just want to check the time played. So it took 19 and a half hours to get to this point. Uh, it would have been faster if I didn't make videos, of course, because I spent a lot of time just standing around doing nothing while I edit. I'm just gonna sneak past the guards, actually, and just go straight back into the desert. Freaking idiot. See you later, losers. Dude, there's so much to do now. There's so much stuff after unlocking a new area. Currently about 1,100 points until next relic. So let's just knock out a bunch of stuff. Ooh, boots. Yo, it's an upgrade. I need to actually look through the task list because I have not looked through the tasks for the desert ever yet because it was just irrelevant to me before. All right, Alcurid Guard has been sat. 10 points for that. Oh, I can finally buy all the molds now because of course I haven't really done much with construction so I could just buy all these here. Wait, it was 100 GP for a TR mold? Oh dude, ah oh, man, the cash stack, it hurts. Oh, this is where the waystone is too. That's ah, a pretty good spot actually. Man, some of this content I haven't done since RuneScape 2. Um, like the squirk juices. Let's go do that. That seems fun. But first, crafting an emerald ring for 50 points. Oh, wait, we have to do Prince Ali rescue quest. I guess we may as well do that so we can get the free entrance into Alcurid. I know it's a dumb reason to do it, but like, that's kind of a lot of money when this is my whole cash stack. Good thing I kept those red berries from the other day. So many items needed for this quest. This quest is probably impossible to do on a UIM. Ah, uh, yes, Joe. I believe that's short for Joseph Mama. Yo, this is so cool. It's like the first piece of desert content that we we've done. Also very, very glad to have that 700 GP. That actually helps quite a lot right now. Okay, let's go do the squirk stuff. Okay, so we get teleported to this garden area and then each section is a different season and each one has a different thieving requirement. So I guess we'll start here in the winter one. It's pretty much just a puzzle. You just don't want to be seen and you want to get to the tree and pick the fruit. Fun fact about this garden, by the way, is that when you pick the tree, you get farming XP but you get a roll for the thieving pet. So you could get a zero thieving XP Rocky by doing the winter garden over and over and over and over and over and over. It is however a base chance of one in 10,339. So you might be here a while. And when you pluck it, you could see there's the farm and XP. That's actually a lot of army XP for my level. And there's the spring fruit that has 50 league points and a couple farming levels. And there's the autumn one, probably another farming level and that's 50 points. Unfortunately, we can't do the summer one. We need 65 thieving for that. We'll do this task though, turn in 10 spring squirk juices. So we'll do the spring room nine more times. No, I, I need the thing, I need the strength potion. Wait, is he still there? Oh yes. Okay, so there is a task to drink a sip of Strength Potion. Okay, so I was reading a little bit closer about the squirks. You actually need multiple of each squirk to make the corresponding juice. Uh, and with the spring squirks, it's four of each. So I just collected 40 of these. Normally you can't get it from this store, but in the Trailblazer League, you can buy a pestle and mortar here, which is very convenient for me in my areas. There's probably better ways to get empty beer glasses, but I'm just grabbing them one at a time from the shelf here. You only have to get 10 though, so. It's not bad. Let me tell you, it would be an absolute tragedy if I were to accidentally drink one of these squirk juices. But once we have all of our squirks here, we could turn them in to Ozma and we'll get a big thieving XP drop and we get 50 points for that. And looking back now, if I had known that we actually needed 40 of them, I probably wouldn't have done it at the moment because that took like almost an hour to do. But hey, we got 55 thieving out of it and 50 leak points. I'm just doing this weird flinching thing where I go just slightly outside of its boundary to kill it so it can't hit me. 
and there's a 50 point lead task to kill a crocodile. I also can't really afford water skins right now, or I don't want to spend the money on them, I should say. It looks like Iklurin's little helper is auto-completed, so we should be able to go straight into Sofnum. And no, I'm not spending the money on the carpet right there. I can run, I got feet. Oh, just entering Sofnum was 50 points. Uh, let's do some Pyramid Plunder tasks now. Okay, complete room one of Pyramid Plunder is 10 points, and I don't have anti-poison. Yo, these things could actually kill me pretty fast. Okay, room two is also 10 points. Room three is 50 points. And room 4 is the last room that I can enter with my thieving level and it's 50 points for that as well. I'm going to sell all this junk from that pyramid plunder run and see how much Simon gives us. Oh! Oh that's so good! That's so good! We have to do a lap of the agility pyramid now. We have 49 agility so it will be pretty rough. But I was just thinking, like, we don't even need water skins or anything. We can use the seed pot to teleport to the bank and grab more food, and then use the crystal of memories to teleport straight back here. Wait, what? It just brought me back here. Wait, I just royal seed potted out, and then it just brought me back over here with the crystal of memories. What? <laughs> All right, well, I'm not doing the agility pyramid task. It's pretty bad with 49 agility anyways. Oh, we just got the chef's hat after, like, three kills. Okay. Enter the cook's guild. 50 points. Catch a salmon on Karamja is 50 points and then there's also one for catching 50 salmon so we're gonna be here for a little bit. Oh there's the message for the six hour log. It's been a long day of gaming and let me tell you it's been very fun. 50 salmon, 50 more league points. Just mine the gem rock to obtain a gem while mining. Oh we got a medium Karamja task because we mined the topaz. If we get level 35 slayer then there's like two tasks we can do pretty easily. We have a minotaur's task right now so I'm gonna do that and just try to get to 35 slayer 50 range over halfway to 99 for the most important skill on this account i just got a pyrophene task and i was like where the frick are there pyrophenes in my area so i looked it up and today i learned that there's pyrophenes in the smoke dungeon but on the way there i saw there's a task to pickpocket a bandit so let's do this there's 50 leak points for that and we got anti-poison interesting there we go 35 slayer now kill wall beasts. Yo, we got a staff of fire. Wait, okay, we can equip that. That's 10 league points. Um, I just want to stay here for the rest of the task because there's no way to cancel your task. You can't like Spria or Turiel cancel or whatever. And this is a little bit out of the way. I don't think I'd want to come back here in the future. All right, kill the wall beast for 50 points and then light a bug lantern. Or is it equip it? Equip a harpy bug lantern for 50 more points. Getting very close, we got 310 points to go. I'm just cutting some gems right now because I want to sell them for trading sticks. And we're actually getting close to 50 crafting. We had 48 and we need 50 for a task. So I'm going to like scrounge up stuff I have in the bank and try to get to 50. Oh, come on, please. We're so close. Oh, yes, barely. There we go. It's level 50. Okay, then craft ruby amulet. Do we have to string it to? Yeah, there we go. 50 points for that. Do we need the quest done? Oh, no. Okay, cool. So we can just sell... Wait, you have Karamja gloves on? Okay, sell five, sell five. So actually we should be able to just buy a full set of the villager outfit and equip that. And that is 50 points. Yeah, I just learned about that shop and selling gems to it on uh, the main trailblazer, the last trailblazer account. Then we could enter here and that is 50 more points. I was trying to teleport to Camelot and I was so confused. I was like, what's wrong with the runes I have? And then I realized I don't have level 45 magic. Okay, I just went from 22 to 31 hunter hunting these butterflies. I gotta get started on birdhouse runs. I just, I'm not able to quite yet. I need a knife to set a pitfall trap. What do you mean, dude? I have so many knives right here. Whoa, he's one leapy boy. Okay, catching a spine Lurupia was a task for the diary and a medium task for the league for 50 points. Okay, let's see. We need a Lurupia hat and legs and top and the furry cosplay is complete for 50 league points. And that is 50 points from thieving the Arty Knight 50 times, which has provided me with some very nice economic relief. We can do literally any task now to unlock the next relic. All right, we're gonna finish off this next relic with my boy Big Red Japan cheering me on back to where it all started, or started today. We started our desert adventure. To, oh, I kinda like that, desert adventure. I like that. Maybe I'll use that for a future video title. But as the 4,000 points that we need, to unlock the next relic. Now, treasure seeker or unnatural selection? 
Originally, I did not regret taking this relic on my main until they made an update recently where when you drop your clues, whatever step that you had on it, the next clue that you get or all the future clues that you get will still have the same amount of steps, which makes it actually viable to do clues with unnatural selection because before, it wouldn't really be very feasible to get many clues done at all because you'd have to get like four superiors and then juggle all their clues on the ground and hope that you were able to like finish one. Um, but now because of that, it's very viable to finish clues. And I think uh, this is clearly the better option. And along with relic number four, our XP multiplier will go from eight times to 12 times. So I don't have to feel as bad about skilling. So yeah, we're gonna go with unnatural selection. What have I learned about the league so far? Well, apparently it's the meta to wait until updates happen but here we go we're gonna go with unnatural selection and confirm Whoa. and uh, i guess i should have explained what it is for those of you that don't know because i had treasure seeker on the other account so you can pick your slayer tasks superiors have a one out of 25 chance of spawning they always drop clues and they drop extra drops but not extra rolls for their uniques we're gonna wrap up here though i feel like we got a lot of stuff done today so we're up to exactly 4k points we got the desert unlocked and the total level is approaching 1000. i'm having so much fun on this account i'm really excited to take this different route on it and i hope you enjoy watching so with that said Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again tomorrow.